okay hey aries um so um i went off camera and i asked spirit and my ancestors to um give me some general messages for you guys okay remember uh you guys these are general messages they're not going to relate to every last one of you guys so whatever you can take from this take it whatever's um not for you um leave it for the next person okay also you guys if you like the content can you please like the video okay so um we're going to get started okay so the first card was taking the lead taking the lead we have big money coming in <laughs> we have self-sacrifice we have all work no play go out okay so aries it's 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 time it's our time you hear me okay so a lot of you a lot of us are going to be taking the lead on something okay a lot of you Aries are going to be taking the lead on something. Whatever it is, it's going to be a lot of big money coming in for you, okay? All right, for self-sacrifice and all work and no play go out, a lot of you guys self-sacrifice a lot. You hear me? A lot. A lot of you guys, all you did was work, okay? A lot of you guys sacrifice going out, kicking it, hanging out, partying, you know, to just to build your finances up, okay? So whatever's coming in for you, whatever you about to take the lead on, Aries, you deserve it, okay? Because you sacrifice a lot of things to get what's coming in for you, okay? All right, so um, we have receiving a gift. We have um, go within, and we have getting my stuff together, okay? So a lot of you guys... Um, like I said, you self-sacrifice a lot of things, a lot, okay? A lot of you worked hard. So whatever that's coming in for you is for you. No matter how nobody feeling about it, no, no matter if people is mad about it, you worked your ass off. You hear me? So whatever's coming in for you is for you, okay? We have getting getting my stuff together. A lot of you guys been working hard trying to just get your stuff together, get your your finances together, take care of your family, do just do everything. Like I said, you sacrifice a lot. So whatever blessing that's coming in for you, Aries, you deserve it. Okay, people don't understand or know some of the things you sacrifice to get where you at or going to be at. Okay, all right. So a lot of you guys went within, did the work did the healing okay so just know you're about to get blessed okay we have i'm not confident enough okay we have your angels are with you okay so for a lot of you guys you weren't confident that whatever you were doing you were going to accomplish something okay but i feel like whatever's coming in for you you're going to see that all that hard work that you were doing did not go missed okay we have your angels are with you your and your angels ancestors spirit guys been guiding you the whole time okay they ain't never left your back not at all okay we have um want us want to see you on top so your ancestors your angels they want to see you on top they know they see what you've been through three 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 on the clock they seen the sacrifice they seen the hard work they seen the losses that you took you hear me so they they want to see you on top you deserve to be on top okay um, we have leveling up. So you're definitely about to level up. We have spiritual awakening. Some of you are going to be leveling up spiritually, leveling up financially. Okay. We have follow your dreams. We have sudden wealth. Okay. So a lot of you guys are about to, you know, level up. You're about to follow your dreams and whatever dream you have, Aries, it's going to bring you in sudden wealth. Okay. Like I said, no matter how nobody feel about it, no matter how people are, disappointed because you leveling up that ain't got nothing to do with you okay you know what you deserve and you deserve this sudden wealth that's coming in you deserve whatever dream to follow you deserve everything okay we have things are different we have cut the cord we have not been honest we have karmic justice, okay? So for some of you guys, you don't you're gonna have a lot of people upset because you cut the cord. You seen people for who the hell they are, okay? For not being honest, you peeped out the people who weren't being honest, the liars, the backstabbers, okay? And you cut the cord with their ass, all right? You see, you see them, 
and things different, okay? For you cutting the cord and getting them stakes out your grass, spirit is bringing you in some karmic justice. For some of you guys, it's money. For some of you guys, taking a lead. Whatever it is, it's karmic justice for you putting up with a lot of bullshit. You hear me? Sorry about the cussing. We have businesses about to boom. Your karmic justice is some of you about to start a business and that business is going to take off. Okay? This is your karmic justice for enduring so much. Okay? And never fold. Never fold at all. That's your karmic justice. We have hermit mode. We have transformation. We have celebrating life, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are about to come out of some type of hermit mode you've been in, okay? Some of you went into hermit mode and went through some type of transformation, okay? Whatever it is, I feel like you guys are finna come out of that, okay? This is your season. It's time to come out of that hermit mode, all right? You went, you're going to, you um coming out from some type of transformation. You're going to be able to celebrate life, okay? Because I feel like for most of you guys, while you were in hermit mode, you were doing the work, you were healing, okay? You were getting your finances up. You were praying, you were meditating, okay? Going through a whole, through tra a whole transformation, okay? So now when you come out of that, you're going to be out celebrating life. You worked hard for it. So why not celebrate life? Okay, we have divine, divine stepped in on that. We have overcoming fear. So a lot of you guys are going to be overcoming fear. Fear of taking that leap of faith towards some type of dream. Overcoming fear of um, whatever it is that you fear, you're going to overcome it. I feel like divine stepped in and, and you're going to overcome some type of fear. Okay, you're going to take a leap of faith on something, Aries. Okay. We have watching and envy. We have red hair, okay? So whatever you're about to overcome, whatever you're about to pursue, you're going to definitely have a lot of people watching and envy. And Aries get that any goddamn way, whether, you, whether you're doing something or not, okay? We have they're giving you the evil eye. We have intuition, okay? So you, you know, it's a lot of people giving you the evil eye. And what they don't know is a lot of Aries are very intuitive. Okay, you you already use your intuition. You know who the snakes are. You know who's giving you the evil eye. You know who's clapping for you in your face, but behind your back, they talking shit. You hear me? You already know who this is, okay? You've been using your intuition, okay? We have luck. We have independent, okay? So you're definitely finna get some type of luck, Aries. You're gonna be independent. For some of you guys, like I said, you're about to start a business. You're gonna be independently um, having your own business. You're not going to be working up underneath nobody. Okay. You're going to be very much so independent. Okay. We have get your finances in order. <clears throat> we have intimidated. So a lot of you guys, like I said, you're going to start your own business. This business is going to be, uh, allow you to get your finances in order for, for some of you guys. I feel like you've been working for a bullshit ass job. That's been just keeping you lack, just lack financially okay so some of you are going to start your own business um and you're going to be able to get your finances in order we have intimidated and we have competition you're definitely going to about to intimidate a lot of people you're going to have people competing with you hell and you ain't probably even going to notice they ass competing okay but you're going to have a lot of people intimidated and definitely trying to compete with you okay we have haters that's what they are that's what they always going to be some haters okay Especially if you're not paying them no mind, okay? You're not paying them no mind at all, and they secretly, in their mind, are, are are competing with you, intimidated by you, and you ain't paying their ass no goddamn mind, okay? We have five of swords conflict. These people are trying to bring in some type of conflict towards you, okay? They see that you're about to start winning, okay, or that you're winning, so they're trying to bring in some conflict, okay? They're trying to bring in some... um made up competition, some made up, uh, you know, uh, just something made up intimidation. Okay. But that comes with Aries. And sometimes we don't even have to do nothing. Okay. Aries don't even have to do nothing. They just intimidate people by nature. Okay. That's our fiery energy that we have. We cannot help that we intimidate you. Okay. We have jealous X. Okay. We have jealous X. And we have stalking. 
Um, some of you could have a jealous ex that's stalking you right now. Okay. Um, we have change focus. We have angel number five, 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 which is change. Okay. Um, we have isolated and we have guarded. Okay. So some of you guys have a jealous ex, um, that's stalking you. Okay. Because you changed on their ass for the good though. Um, you're very much guarded and isolated with this person. Okay. The, whoever this jealous ex is, they're watching you. Okay. They're wondering what the hell you got going on. You're not giving them no attention. Okay. They're pissed off about that. Cause you changed focus. Cause I feel like you were focused on this person a lot and you cut, they, they wanted a person you cut the cord with. Okay. So we have fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius. So you couldn't be dealing with a fire sign like yourself. Okay. We have self-worth. Okay. So some of you guys, like I said, Aries, you cut this jealous ex off. You cut their ass off and you, you know, cause you realize your self-worth. Some of them was treating you like shit. Okay. You cut their ass off. You got guarded because you know your self-worth period. Okay. We have good karma. We have move on. So this is your good karma. A lot of you guys moved on from someone, period, point blank. And this is your good karma coming in. Some of you about to find a connection that's, that you are supposed to be uh, be with. with Someone you, who, who you are supposed to be with. Okay? All right? So this is your good karma. Just know, Aries, um, these cars flew out, flew out like that for a reason. It's our time. It's Aries season. Okay? We done took a lot of losses. You hear me? A lot. It's time for us to start winning. Okay. N no offense to any other signs, but for me, I personally feel like Aries done been through a lot. Okay. A lot. So whatever that's coming in for the Aries. Okay. For Aries, just let y'all know y'all deserve it. It's time. It's our time to shine. You hear me? Okay. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I love y'all. Bye.